Hey everyone, welcome to Sunday Commutes, a podcast where I combine the worlds of web development and business and share my experiences. This podcast episode 58, where I'll be talking about server-side rendering, also known as SSR. And it's a topic that is easily confused, um, or that people get easily confused about, and I think it's even harder to explain, so I'll try my best, but actually what I'm going to do on this specific episode is just talk about the benefits of server-side rendering rather than explain um, exactly what it is or how it works. Because if the benefits are not something that uh, are important to you, then this is not something that you should look into because server-side rendering is definitely complex to implement, although I will also mention the frameworks that make this really easy to do. Let's jump right in. The first benefit is search engine optimization, also known as SEO. So if you have a website like a blog and if you want your users to be able to discover your content via search engines like Google or Bing, then you'll want to make sure that with something like server-side rendering that your content is available to those to the search engines. So what happens is uh, Google will go through your site and it will crawl through all of your content. And whatever it finds, if uh, a user goes to Google and they type in some keywords, if those keywords are relevant to the content on your website, then obviously your website will show up in those search results. Now, if that content is not available, so essentially if your site is not server-side rendered already, or, or there's also alternatives like pre-rendering, which I'm not gonna dive into too much, but if your content is not available, then you know your pages are not gonna show up in Google. So this I think is a really important one and one of the biggest uh, benefits when people talk about server-side rendering. Now the second benefit is social media optimization. Less people talk about this one, they mostly talk about SEO, but social media is really important too because when people post links to your site or your web application on Twitter or Facebook, then you'll want to have a nice preview show up on those sites. So instead of just having that link, you, you've probably seen this before, you'll see the title, the a description or some sort of an excerpt, and then an image. So that's more visually appealing and a lot more people, if they see that as something relevant to them, they'll click on it more. So without server-side rendering, this may not show up as, um, this. your pages may not show up properly on social media sites. So pre-rendering is something that um, can work for SEO, but sometimes it gets, uh, social media sometimes gets overlooked. Um, so this I think is a really important benefit as well. Now the third benefit is performance. So server-side rendered pages will typically perform better um, because the content loads up faster, it's available to the user quicker. Um, and this also ties into the fourth benefit, which is user experience. So the user will obviously have a better user experience on your site if it loads faster, if they can access the content sooner, um, they're not looking at loading spinners or anything like that. Um, and that is also important for ranking higher in search engines. So there's a lot of benefits and just quick recap, search engine optimization, social media, uh, performance, and user experience. So if any of those benefits are important to you, then you should look into server-side rendering. Now, uh, and I've kind of already explained uh, or went over a little bit about how it works, right? Essentially, the content is available um, by the server right away. There's no JavaScript that has to run to you know, fetch data or anything to make the content show up sooner. Or, or you know have available to the user um, but there's a couple of frameworks that make this really easy like I said it's complex if you want to do it from scratch um, but these two frameworks if you're using react take a look at next.js and if you're using Vue, then take a look at nuxt.js it's n-u-x-t um, and also you can do static sites too with something like Gatsby um, you'll get those all of those same benefits with a static site architecture. So definitely look at Gatsby and I'll have all of these links in the show notes. Um, and you can also find them on sunnycommutes.fm. So hopefully this was 
somewhat a good explanation uh, mainly of the benefits of server-side rendering. So uh, hopefully you've learned something and uh, thank you for listening to this episode. You can vote on the next topic that I talk about on ideascratch.com slash sunny commutes. That's where I post all of the future topics and you can vote on them so that I can you know, know better what I should talk about next. Um, also, you can follow me and let me know some of the feedback that you might have on Twitter, um, sunnysync.io. And thanks again for listening. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.